Hey guys, this is Getsumara and we're playing some Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the last episode, we entered um, the temple and we have seen, or what temple was it? I think the Dyla Temple. Um, I forgot, honestly, I'm sorry. I don't remember the name of this temple well because you really only go here once. But yeah, we entered the temple, uh, we made it to this little hot pot here and I did a little bit of leveling up just so I could learn a couple skills. Level 7 now, but all I really did was for to buy some gear so everyone has all their defense all set and ready to go. Nothing really special, I didn't exactly get any weapons for anybody, just some armor, so hooray. But how could we possibly get past this? Ow. Ow. Oh, it's hot. Why didn't my mother teach me the stove is hot by placing my hand against it? Now I'll never be able to get past this. Ow. 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 Oh, wait. I have a hand that doesn't get hot when touching a stove. Move. Oops. There we go. Just move it out of your way. Literally. Ha ha ha. Alright, well, we're free to go because, well, it's only hot because it's standing on the coals right there. See? Haha, ha, not hot. But let's jump over it. And charge forward. Whoa, what the hell is this? We got our first boss battle of the game. Chest beater one, two, and three. Oh yeah. They're honestly not that strong, but let's haul some ass. I'm gonna show you how to use the Jinny, cause well, or it's Jin. I, cause I didn't show off the tutorial cause it's long and drawn out. You go to your Jin menu. If you wanna use one or unleash it, uh, you choose your Jin like this one. It'll attack with the double strike, but um, when you do that, it sets your Dijin. You do lose some stats, but it is beneficial later on, so just don't worry about that. So let's do some... Oh yeah, she also learned Beam, which is like Flare Wall with better, so let's kick some ass with that. She did not learn Plasma. I would love if she had a new Plasma right now, because she would just destroy everything, but whatever. And look at me being Italian using hand gestures, even though you can't see them. Alright. Let's take him to school. Bam! 45 damage. Oh, it would heal. Oh, it just fully restored the middle one. Son of a bitch. All right, well, um, now let's summon. See, we have uh, have one uh, Venus Dijin set, so we can summon Venus. The more Dijin you have set, the better summons you can do. So, well, let's just show that off. Something nice happens after you summon, too. So we'll show that off soon enough. Yeah, one's dead, two's dead, and the middle guy's still alive. Does not, not that good damage, but uh, his wind power rises, so his wind bait or not wind power, earth power rises, so his earth power attacks will do more. Beat dance. Oh man, chess beaters getting funky. Oh shit. Oh, he's letting it down. He's showing us the moves. We got served. But all right, um, yeah, I'll show you Spire now. It'll do a little bit more damage than usual, cause well, is um. Earth powers rise, so it's nice. It's actually very effective. Oh, look, Chess Beater 2's dead. So much for a boss. He died before I could show anything cool off. Oh well. We got 120 XP, 84 coins, and a nut. Isn't that cruel? We stole one of their nuts. It's actually an item, it's very nice. A nut will restore 200 HP, like right now it's overkill. Later on it will be kind of abysmal, but it's still nice to have. So let's climb up the ladder. And let's go see what's going on, since we passed the trial, so we should be able to be an awesome meditator. You have passed a very, very difficult test. You have pleased your teacher. Wait, you're not one of my students. Who are you? What have you done with my student? Why is he lying naked in the hallway? What are you doing with his clothes? Um... I'll leave Kraden to answer that. He's an old man. He has some sort of knowledge. Maybe he can get me out of this situation. Ah, yes. How indeed. Okay, so he plays the rhetorical card. Why doesn't he just play the retard card instead? The rope is still on the floor. He must have come through the cave. Well, you should have just sat and watched, because we ran literally right behind your student into the cave. We could have pushed him out of our way for all we cared. That means... I must give you the secret of Lash. Master Poi, you seem perturbed. Oh, no. Not at all. Felix, 
Am I imagining it, or does he seem perturbed? Yes, he does. I am not perturbed, merely surprised. What is this lash you mentioned a moment ago? Lash is the sacred power passed down for years through the followers of this temple. Sacred power? And it's called Lash, you say? And now we must pass it on to you. It is our way. It is a gift given to all those who pass the test, as it has been for ages. What type of power is Lash? Allow me to show you instead of explain, for that is easier. Oh, it's a type of Synergy. Lash looks quite a bit like Synergy, doesn't it? Well, yes, it is Synergy. Hmm, we call it Spiritual Strength, but it seems the same. This technique uses the spiritual to affect the physical. One with a strong spirit can lift and move heavy objects farther. The distant changes with your level of power? Fascinating! Those who cannot pass this cave's trials are not worthy of the technique. Felix, do you think this can cave was designed to test one's control of synergy? Or synergy? Yes. Yes, yes. Well done, old man. Who are you calling an old man? You're no spring chicken yourself. And at least I have a full head of hair. I wondered if it would be right to allow an outsider to use this power. You're not going to teach us? But I like you, so I'll let you learn our secret. Oh, nice. Just because we're liked, we're allowed to learn Synergy or Synergy. Isn't that fantastic? When has this become like a dating simulator? The more the person likes you, the more likely they're going to teach you an ability. Um... He's luring us with rope to the top of that cliff. Suspicious, but let's do it. This is the power and the secret of our temple. If you are worthy, you can you will use it with ease. When you see a rope, use the lash on it. Perhaps you will find this useful in your travels. Take this power with you and do good. Felix got the lash pebble. I hope that someday my students will be worthy of this honor too. Well, sorry for you, I have the Lash Pebble, so they're never gonna learn it again. Your temple is now obsolete. Have fun. Well, um, I'm actually gonna give this to Jenna. Cause you know, nothing better than giving an angry chick a whip. Ha ha ha. I'm also gonna hawk it, cause we'll be using it quite a bit actually right now. There we go, so now let's leave. You can cut out these doors for a very fast shortcut, but um, we can get that uh, Mercury to Ginny now, so let's go get them. Not that we're going to use them, because honestly we don't have any water adepts. And I really don't like playing around with any of the, the classes until later on. Because I love Double Ninja, so cheap. Alright, let's hustle on over. Wee, So fun. I love this game, it is a lot of fun. And this Dijin is actually really easy to fight. Wait, do I gotta set the Dijin? No, I don't. Alright. Just run up to this and use the Lash. Whee! Now we can climb up. Oh yeah, and that one person who told me about the exclamation marks meaning um, better, weaker, and stronger for um, monsters, I never knew that, actually. I thank you for that. That's a cool little playful thing they did with the exclamation points. That's pretty cool, though. And the Mercury Dijini appeared! Oh my god! No way! You're gonna die, little buddy! Because honestly, we don't have any water add up, so we can just unload on him. Look at that, 71 damage. Those exclamation marks mean it's strong against him because he's a water adept versus a fire adept. And this one's just normal damage. Oh, he cast a frost. So painful. Actually, that did hurt. Well, none that matter. He'll actually die at the end of this turn. But be warned, they can run away. And is it incredibly annoying if they do run away? Because you have to just leave and come back and do it all over again. Freaking sucks.
Jenna found the Mercury de Ginny Fog. Oh yeah. Now she has fog and a whip on an angry chick. Well, we just kind of made Felix terrified and Isaac. We hope we never find him. See, we can set it. We learn now blast, uh, guard, cure poison, but we lose fume and all that. So honestly, I don't want it. As much stats as we gain, I really don't want to give this to Jenna. So we're just going to leave it blank. And we're going to use retreat. I can guarantee you I will forget to do this, and if you play the game, you probably will too, because it's very handy, but it's very easily forgettable. Or well, there'll be cases where you just run out of PP and can't use it at all. I'm sure I'll come across that, so let's get out of here. Whee, slide down. Oh, I should actually heal everyone. There we go. Now let's leave. We can go right to the front door. Haha. -ha. Well, um, there's a couple places we want to go now. We could go back to Dyla. Dial up internet, ha ha ha. I don't know why I find that funny. I just do. As I was saying, I have no idea why I find that funny, but I just do. So we'll just kind of go with that. Yeah, we want to go back to the Shrine of the Sea God, because, well, we can actually save those children now. That was some utter bull crap. That rat or bat dodged, like, two of my attacks. That is total crap. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, we can go save that kid now, so I think we should do that. Even though I did just go the wrong way again. Ugh. This is not Dark Dawn. Yeah, it's not Dark Dawn, but yeah, the Shrine of the Sea God's up here. Yeah. So let's just walk over and go inside. There's really not a lot we can actually do here, I just want the Ginny. So let's go find it and steal it. Because theft is awesome. Let's watch this. Oops, not move. Flash. Yeah. Excellent work, Felix. Hey, the rope. Awesome, Riki. Way to go. Who are you? We're just passing through. How come you threw me the rope? We heard that you needed some assistance. Well, whatever, thanks anyways. Hey, Tavi! How'd you get down from there? These guys threw me the rope. Really? These grown-ups? Well, whatever, now we can go nab that critter we saw. What? What is it? The little guy's so fast, I can't catch him. You think we could catch him together? Well, yeah, except that every time I'm about to grab him, he flies off. So I guess it wouldn't work no matter if we work together or not. Yeah, I guess not. Well, that's too bad. Hey, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten since before I got stuck. Yeah, same here. My stomach's growling up a storm. Let's go home, Riki. Sounds good, Tavi. Ungrateful little children, I saved your life, and you're like, oh, whatever. Well, it was good of you to help them. We should be going to. Yeah, well, they kind of actually provided a hint of what this Dijini is going to do. He will run away, but you have to trap him to catch him. Big surprise. I know. So let's go chase after him. He should be right here. Yeah, there he is, kind of just chilling all cool and that. Let's go say hi. Oh no, he ran away! How dare you! I'm gonna catch you! Uh... So let's just chase after him. So very interesting, I know. Run! Get him! So follow the footprints this time. It kind of leads you where you want to go. You don't have to. You could have just walked the other way, but it's pretty much a hint. So like, I could have just walked the other way, because it would have been quicker. But no. Uh, which is the one I want to go down again? I think it's this one. <clears throat> or up. Uh, is it... Okay, he ran up. So we go down this ladder. It's just kind of showing us where he's going, so we can chase after him. Because this ladder lets us go down, so let's rush him. If you don't play nice, I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat your children and you. Oh no, he's hiding up here. How could we possibly ever catch him? 
This looks like it'll be a circular motion going on and on forever in an infinite loop, unless we move this torch. Yeah. A lot of these puzzles are neat, and they're not really that difficult, so let's just chase them. Come on, jump over the candlestick. Aren't you gonna do it? Guess not. Alright, you're mine. And of course he wants to fight. Yeah, just a warning, Shiba's damage is gonna be absolute crap, because it's a Jupiter Dijini. Like, I'll show you, It'll, it won't do crap. Watch this. 21 damage. Nothing. Felix, on the other hand, will critical it, pretty much. So, let's just own it. I'm gonna attack. It's really... Oh, of course it dodges. Turn little damage into none, why don't you? And we kill the Jupiter to Jenny. Nice. We got coins and money and whatnot. Sheba found the Jupiter de Genie breath. Hooray, so let's set it on her. Her stats go up, hooray. Alright, well, let's get out of here. There's really no point left of being inside here. I'm just gonna actually retreat, actually. See, it's so handy. And very efficient. And I honestly can't believe I'm remembering to do this. But we're also out of time, so yeah, next time on Let's Play Golden Sun of the Lost Age, uh, we'll go back to Dahlia. And see what's up. See if they're still having trouble with their dial-up internet. And I'll try to figure out why I think that's funny. So yeah, goodbye.